Have you said your farewells then? Aye, we are ready to depart. I suggest we begin our search for Lady Iceheart without delay. Very well, but she will prove an elusive quarry. Where do you intend to start looking? In the absence of any fresh intelligence on the sailor's movements, I propose we pick up the trail where we, she last encountered last. Um, the Quirthos Western Highlands? Let us speak with Sir Redwall, was it? As the command of Falcon's Nest, it is like that he will know if any heretic activity has been reported in the area. Well, well, Master Durplander. What business brings you back to Falcon's Nest? Judging by the company you keep, it can be no trifling matter. The Azure Dragoon, I know, of course, but I do not believe I've met this young gentleman. Alvino Levelier at your service, and you are not mistaken as to the gravity of our mission, Sir Redwall. As I am sure you are aware, the Observatorium has warned that the Dravanians gather for another assault. We believe there may yet be a way to avert the coming conflict, but only if we can find the elusive Lady Iceheart. Thus, we have come to Falcon's Nest in hopes of acquiring the latest intelligence on the heretic's movement. I see. Then you would do be we uh, would be best served by speaking directly with my men. A uh, patrol is due to return to its sweep of the surrounding lands at any moment. You may also wish to question the knights assigned to pick over the remains of the heretic refuge at Gorgan Mart Mills. Tis possible they unearth some information that may be of use to you. Master Durplander knows well the place I speak of, for it was he who first discovered it. Let us divide our forces, then. I will stay and await the return of the patrol while you two visit this refuge. When I have completed my inquiries, I will join you there. A wise use of our time. Come, Meteor. I am eager to learn what Sir Redwald's men have found in the heretic's lair. Nice. How far is it? Oh, it's a long way. Alright. Ultimate Chocobo Porter here. Look at that. It's nice to be working with Astinian. Um... I was really excited to be spend more time with the Ish Guardians, and now that I'm with them, I constantly feel like we're going to show up and get put to the stake. 25 gil per trip? I, I think this is... I think this is 5 gil for the Chocobo Porter, and it was 195 to teleport here, I think. So, it's not like a huge savings. On my main, I wouldn't worry about it, because my main has a lot more money. But it's something. Alright. So this is the mill we were at yesterday. Um, and we fought those guys in the basement. Ooh. Look at those aether currents. My first aether currents. Just a simple farmhouse. It makes one wonder what the other innocent facades the heretics have chosen to hide behind. Master Durplanter. Our findings, you say? Well, there is something of a tale there. No sooner had we chanced upon promising-looking sheaf of leather letters than we were ambushed when in shadows by great white beasts. It would seem the heretics foresaw our coming, and left behind their pets to discourage further investigation. Several of our number were badly wounded. And you cannot carry out your duties until the creatures are slain. We have not the time to wait for reinforcements. Let us deal with these pets ourselves. Uh, 
Oh. Oh dear. The, the creature took me by surprise. F forgive me. Until my hands stop shaking, I fear I shall prove more of a hindrance than a help. Pray go on ahead, and when you are certain that the rest of these things have been slain, notify the expedition leader uh, that it is safe to return. You came in here and were attacked by a bear, and you killed it before I even got inside, and you're concerned? You seem fine. Whoa. Look at these bears. Hey, guys. Oh. Alright. Bears are dead. Oh, uh, the beasts are slain then. Oh, my thanks, Master Derplander. We may return to our duty without fear of a mauling. wish to track down Lady Iceheart, is this not so? So, the records we discovered, ere those beasts mauled by my comrades, uh, appeared to be some manner of correspondence. We had not the luxury of pursuing her contents more closely, intent as we were on surviving the onslaught of fame and claw, but I'd wager those epistles contain more than a friendly salutations betwixt lonely heretics. My interrogation... <clears throat> right, excuse me. My interrogation of the patrol proved fruitless. Either we divine some clue from these letters, or we wander the snowfields and pray that the gods lead us right to Iceheart's door. It is hardly a choice at all. And that's what I was going to say. Sure you were. Uh Okay. I read one. Read two. I feel like reading three of these is enough of them. We don't need to keep looking. I feel like three is an optimal number. Excellent. Excellent. They agree with me. We're gonna turn this in. Where are these damn purple pages? I'd rather battle two score Avis than continue this confounded search. There must be so many of them. Like, way more than three. No, I think it's just three, buddy. I have found some few of these letters. Let us gather a respectable stack, say three, and see what secrets the expedition captain can wring from the collected correspondence. Have you recovered much of the heretic's correspondence? Uh, I recovered three of what appear to be records from past correspondence held between individuals regarded as heretics by the Holy See. Splendid. And added to the contributions from Master Levrieux and Sir Estinian, we now have more than a dozen letters. Oh, wow, they did a lot more than me, then. What we have here, then? Hmm. Every one of these pages is a record of the dealings betwixt Gorgane Mills, heretics, and their fellows in the... Archifar Amphitheater. There are requests for foodstuffs, clothings, and all manner of provisions. Iceheart's followers must yet inhabit the ruins we had thought abandoned. All right. The Archifar Amphitheater, the very place where you witnessed the manifestation of the Primal Shiva, was it not? If that is our destination, the journey will be long indeed. The amphitheater lies on the other side of a treacherous tract of ice and snow we cannot swiftly be crossed. Then we must place our faith in the Ethernet, 
As you recall, our dear friend Moen Breda succeeded in recreating the Arkafar Beacon after it had been destroyed by Lady Iceheart. At the time, it was assumed that the reluctant, uh, the resultant Aetherite would be only temporarily viable, but given the heretics of Gorgane, uh, Gorgani Mills seem to have been in regular contact with their brethren at the amphitheater, I'd wager it still functions. I suggest we make for the Aetherite within Snowcloak without delay. Correct me if I'm wrong, Miss Dinian, but in the course of mapping Snowcloak Tunnel System, a passage was discovered leading out in the Western Highlands, was it not? Might it be possible for us to reach the Aetherite from this side of the wall? It should. House Durandere posted soldiers at the Western Highlands entrance after the tunnels were cleared, but they will not deny us entry. Back we go. Cool. Gray Tail Falls. Nice. These quests are really fast. Um, Air R quests would have like 16 more fetch things and pray returns and... So I don't know if they've trimmed these up at all, but... They used to have to gather a dozen pages. I, it seems... Really, really quick. I'm impressed with the pacing of Heaven's Word so far. Do you recall the first time you ventured into these tunnels in search of Lady Iceheart? Oh, it seems like an age ago, does it not? Back then I still believed myself commander of the Crystal Braves. Oh, I could be so intolerable. What ails our young lord? The moment we arrived at the wall, his face took on an ashen pallor. Does he fear facing the heretics within their own lair? The guests of House Fortal, accompanied by the Azure Dragoon, no less. I cannot imagine what brought you out this far, but you are welcome to enter the tunnels if that is your will. Assuming the Akafar Beacon still functions, we must pray to the Twelve it does. We shall arrive at our destination in mere moments. Though I do not expect to be greeted by the Primal Shiva, we should nevertheless prepare for a frosty reception. The heretics are not like to rejoice at the appearance of uninvited guests, particularly ones with our history. Cool. Now this is going to sink me to level 3. Or 53. Which is higher than I am. An impressive structure. I wonder how many ages it has endured. Mayhap you should ask its occupants. They seem a friendly bunch. Dogs of Ishgard, is it not enough that you banish our beloved saint? Will you not be satisfied until the ice is slick with the last drops of our blood. Stay your weapons. We have come to fight under the flag of Parley. We wish only to speak with your mistress that we might broker a peace. <laughs> Do you think us fools, boy? It will take more than honeyed words to earn our trust. You walk with the Dragon Slayer, and we know all too well what he is capable of. My reputation precedes me. They give us little choice. Come, brothers! Our may dragon wings bear us to victory.
Alright. You will not defile this sacred place of ours a second time. No, no, wait. We did not come here to fight. Waste no more words on them. They are deaf to reason. Your guard is down. Oh, oh. oh crimson elixir of life. Breath unto me. By the fury, they partake of the blood of dragons. Seven hells, can dragon blood truly bring about such. Oh, such transformation? The dragon wings bear us to victory! They seem intense. Ooh. Oh, hi there. You should not have come here, Ish Guardians. Uh, Louis Doe, uh, what are you doing here? I, I, I feel like we were just supposed to be fighting the doormen. You have like a proper name. Uh oh. Louis Doe's drinking some dragon blood, so if we could finish these up, that would be great. Because this is about to get real serious. You are fortunate indeed to behold the true power of our faith. Oh, for friend. At last, a foe I might sink my last. No, your folly. No, your folly indeed. Say. Focus, release. There it is. Oh, they, they fight like demons. Just death to remain. 
Oh, Mac brothers, retreat to the cinders. I see no sign of Lady Iceheart. What that we could have questioned one of them. What would you ask that we do not already know? They make for the senders, and so must we. Even should an ambush await us, tis certain there will be more heretics to question. The senders, you say? I confess, the name is unknown to me. Mayhaps you would be so good as to enlighten us in Stinian? I suspect it is the heretic's way of referring to the Dreaming Dragon, an island of sorts found in the midst of the frozen lake of Ashpool. Some five hundred years past, tis told that an azure dragoon of the age fought a dragon of titanic proportions. After a savage struggle, the mighty creature was wakened unto the port of de point of death and forced into a magic slumber by an entire chapter of Holy Sea Sorcerers. Ere long, a rash of rain of ash and cinders did begin to fall on the sleeping serpent's motionless form, covering the creature at length in a shroud of grey. Of course, a thick layer of ice has since formed on top of it, but you may be sure I speak true. A fascinating tale. We should make haste to this Ashen Isle. Would you say it's peaceful now? Is it kind of like a sanctuary? Like a like an isle sanctuary? Because I've been looking for like a, an island sanctuary. I've been kind of looking for one of those lately. Only in a land where war has raged for a thousand years could enough ash fall to bury a dragon the size of an island. The Dreaming Dragon lies far to the west. Before we approach the Frozen Beast, however, there is another place I would visit first. I am told the Convictors have set up camp in Twin Pools. Their leader, Jantalo, has may have information of use of us. Ah, but perhaps you are not familiar with that name either. The Convictors are Dragon Slayers, after a fashion but I am willing to wager that they encounter their fair share of heretics. If we are indeed walking into a trap, I would learn all there is to know of our foe. A sound suggestion. Let us speak with these convictors, then, and temper our haste with a measure of caution. <laughs> 